Hey everybody, it's Saturday, January 28th, 2023. Uh, our cabinets came in. What we're trying to do is get this insulation up. Um, after a little bit of cussing and discussing, we got that second panel in. Like Emily said, this would have been a lot easier if we would have did the insulation before the wiring and before the studs, but I don't know. That's how it turned out. It's just this one wall we gotta finish up. The next piece, we're gonna go from the top down. So we'll get up in the loft and do that next piece, but it's not too bad. It's just easier if you fold the stuff in half and then tuck it behind everything. And then you gotta notch it out where the metal's at. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna definitely help in the summer months with the insulation. Um, we were busy last night. Staining, or Emily was busy staining the different shiplap boards, uh, mixing colors of stain and trying different things. Um, our cabinets came in, so I picked those up at Home Depot yesterday. But now we're just getting insulation in, like I said, so that we can start putting the shiplap boards up on the wall. Uh, other thing I gotta do, I gotta move the water lines once Emily's done in that corner. Shut the water off and move the hot and cold water right there. And then we've got another water line down here that's gonna go into the cabinets because Emily's gonna have a an RO water system or whatever for filtration. So it's the big project for today. Hopefully we can get this done but it's a massive, massive project. Got that moved from over here to here. That's where Emily's gonna have the, the water coming out for an RO system. Plus with the refrigerator going here, we'll have a line to the refrigerator for the ice maker and water dispenser. Get the plumbing moved here. Because of that metal bar there, this guy is going there. So, got all that moved. Whoop, I'm going to spin around here. And now we're about ready to start putting up the first of the boards because we've got that second part of the insulation pretty much done. And Emily's um, kind of just doing the real bottom there. So, here we go with the wood. About an hour later, we've got the first three rows done. Already had to drill a couple holes. So again, that's where the RO system is going to come through. So we're going to have a shutoff valve there. It's going to be under the cabinet. And then it's also going to go to the refrigerator once again. Got the hole drilled for the drain to the sink. So we got a couple easy runs now until we start getting up to where we got all kinds of holes to drill and spots to check and double check and you got Emily over here on the miter saw cutting the next piece okay it's about one o'clock and they were taking a lunch break because we didn't really eat breakfast but uh yeah we had cinnamon raisin toast so I wouldn't call that breakfast but uh we had to take a long pause because I had to do the plumbing um back here where all that is I had to make sure the copper was cut to the right distance and right depth so that all that turned out right. So next, fancy cuts or cutting around all that mess, which I'm not looking forward to. And then we got three outlets, which it's not that bad, but so before I start getting hangry, it's uh, time to go get some food, but looks really good. And we'll be back at it. And that's an example of how intricate some of these cuts are to fit over those pieces. I went to grab lunch. Emily got working on the side wall, so coming along good there. So we got to do the drain to the sink. That's why the bucket's in there. But getting this next piece in place and see if it, uh, if it fits. So here we are, it's about four o'clock. Um, took a little lunch break. Couldn't put the outlet cover on this. Um, one of the things with the electricians 
because these are close to the sink, they need to do GFIs. So they swapped out this one for a GFI, but what the goofballs did is they removed the tab here and here, which is also where the wall plate or the switch cover goes in. Um, so yeah, so can't really do that one because now I gotta go get a, a brand new GFI to replace what should have been a brand new GFI, which wasn't. So it's a little upsetting. Um, other than that, and we've been working on that back there, get the sidewall in. That's how that turned out, which turned out really good. Um, and now we're getting into the area where the, the water heater and stuff. So that's gonna be a nightmare because that's gonna be four holes that have to be drilled and cut to get the wood back there. And then we've got that outlet up there and the studer bent. So coming along, but I don't know how much more we got in us, but it is 4.30. I'm going. Emily says we're going. So I guess we're going. So here we are, it's about 5.30, still going. Um, I had to take the water heater off, so I had to disconnect all the plumbing um, with PEX. There's a special tool, it's like two pairs of pliers that squeeze it together, you have to buy. Um, you can get them on Amazon, but had to undo all the electrical. There's two 50 amp um, breakers for this water heater because it's a tankless water heater. So obviously triple check to make sure that power was off because that's no fun. Um, but next, this next board, we got to cut out around where the studer vent's at and the, uh, the outlet up there for the TV and the stereo and all that stuff for later. But it's getting pretty close. Um, we've kind of halted on that wall for a minute back there just because Emily wants to see what scraps we have of this stuff to do that. So um, coming along, but she's cutting the next board for me to make holes in it. So here we are, it's about 7.30 at night. Um, we put the final boards on that we're gonna do. I gotta break out the table saw and do the top pieces, but I'm not really in the mood to mess with that. Um, so that's where we're gonna end. Emily's cutting these pieces so that I can do that removable wall. That way if we ever have to get back there, we can. And then, uh, Gonna push the washer and dryer back, get it hooked back up. Probably call it a night. So long day, but good day at Deer Run Farm. <laughs>